Good evening. Welcome to this video segment. My name is Samuel Chupu Emeka. In this video segment, we shall talk about roots. And we shall deal with numbers only. Before we talk about roots, let's quickly flash back on exponents. I recommend that you view my videos on exponents. If you can recall, uh, an exponent tells you how many times to multiply the base. Remember, if we have 2 raised to power 3, or to 2 raised to power 2 raised to exponent 3, or 2 raised to power 3, or 2 raised to the third degree or degree 3, we know that our 2 is the base and our 3 is the exponent. In other words, this means multiply 2 3 times, 2 times 2 times 2. Of course, it gives you 8. So, let's now jump to perfect squares. Perfect squares and square roots. Roots. Perfect squares means raise the base to exponent 2. That is what it means. Raise the base to exponent 2. Okay, so uh, if we start with 1, 1 squared, of course this means 1 times 1, which is 1. 2 squared, this means 2 times 2, which is 4. Raise the base to exponent 2. 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. Okay, now when we talk of square roots, it is kind of the inverse. You can kind of see it as an inverse of the squares. For instance, 1 squared is 1. So that means that the square root of 1 is 1. 2 squared is 4. This means that the square root of 4 is 2. 3 squared is 9. This means that the square root of 9 is 3. So what is a root? What is a root? We define root as this. The root of a number, say uh, p, is defined as another number, which when multiplied by itself a given number of times, equals p. The root of a number, say p, is defined as another number, which when multiplied by itself a given number of times, equals p. So, when we talk about the square root of 1, this means if we multiply 1 two times, it gives us 1. When we talk about the square root of 4, which is 2, this means if we multiply 2 two times, it gives us 4. Square root of 9 is 3, because when we multiply 3 two times, it gives us 9. The same thing is what we have for perfect cubes. Perfect cubes. And of course we have cube roots. Cube roots. So, let's start with one also. One raised to power three, or one raised to exponent three. One times one times one, which gives you one then this means that the cube root of 1 is 1. Because when you multiply 1 3 times, it gives you 1. Now, do you see how we write cube root? So this tells you that if you don't see a number in between the symbol, the radical symbol, I'm going to talk about it on the next video, radical. If you don't see a number in between the radical symbol, that means we mean square root. If you see 3, it means cube root. Okay? Now, 2 cube 
is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. This means that the cube root of 8 will give you 2. Because when you multiply 2 3 times, it gives you 8. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So the cube root of 27 means what? 3. Because when you multiply 3, 3 times, it gives you what? 27. So, the same way we also have perfect faults, and of course the inverse of it or the opposite of it will be fourth, fourth roots. Now, how do we write fourth roots? Like, let's say fourth root of 5. We write it this way. The 4 is written in, inside the symbol. The same thing, we have perfect fifths. Perfect fifths. And also, fifth roots. Okay? Now, how do we write fifth root of 81? We will write 81, and then in, in between it, this symbol, we write 5. Fifth root of 81. So, we have 6 root, 7 root, 8 root, 9 root, all of, I mean, as much as you can say. So, that is what we mean by roots, okay? Now, can we use the computer for this? Can we uh, use the computer to find roots? And the answer is yes. So, uh, I'm going to show you how you can use your computer, uh, the calculator on your computer, to find, to evaluate the roots. Uh, if you if you have a laptop uh, or any computer you are using uh, right now, I'm using a, a laptop that has a Windows 7 operating system. So uh, I would like you to uh, go to the start button. The start button is the round button located at the bottom left, bottom left of this uh, of your screen when you when you turn on your computer. So if you click on the start button, uh, there is a search field. There is a search field that says uh, search programs and files. Search programs and files. So if you can go ahead and type in calculator. If you type in calculator, and as you're typing it in, you see it comes up. Uh, calculator. So you click on calculator. Okay. Now, another way you can get the calculator from your computer is you click on the start button and uh, you go to all programs you click on all programs and when you click on all programs you uh, look for the file the folder is a folder accessories so you click on the folder accessories and then the first thing there is your calculator so you click on it it comes up on your screen now when you when it comes up you have a three menu bars. You have the view menu, the edit menu, and the help menu. So if you can click on the view menu, and when you click on the view menu, you have a drop down box. Uh, you just click on a scientific. We want to change it to scientific. Uh, probably it was on standard, but you want it to be uh, on scientific. So if you are now looking at it, uh, you see the buttons, uh, you have a x raised to power y, and you also have the y root of x, y root of x. So, uh, x raised to power y is, you can raise anything to uh, any exponent, okay, x raised to exponent y, you can raise it to any exponent. For instance, if we want to do a 2 cube, right, we know it's 2 times 2 times 2 which gives 8. What we can do is we we press 2 and then we press the button x raised to power y and then we press 3 and then we press equal. Okay? So uh, 2 raised to power 3 uh, that gives you 8. Uh, another thing you can do is you, are, you see another button that says uh, x cube x cube Right? So if you want to find a 2 cube, all you need to do is you press 2 and you press x cube and it gives you 8. 
Yeah, but what if you have a higher exponents? Let's say you don't have a, a three. In this calculator, you have a squared and cubes. But let's say you want to find perfect fourths. Okay, perfect fourths or perfect fifths. So, or you want to, I mean, you can raise to power anything, even if you can raise, you, you can do a negative 10, of course, raise to power a 50. You can do it. You can even raise to power a negative. Yeah, it does a negative exponent. But that is not what we are going to do in this video. I want you to play with it. Now, when you deal with the negative exponents or the negative base, make sure you put the parenthesis. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it might give you a wrong answer. Okay. Uh, now, for the y root of x, we have a, the sign here, y root of x. So let's say you want to find the cube root of 8, right? Of course, cube root of 8 will give us 2. So what you need to do is you press 8, right? Then you press the white root of x, white root of x, and then you press a 3, and you press equal to, okay? And that will give you 2. Uh, 8, white root of a, a, a cube, a cube root of 8, and that gives you 2. Now, if you want to do square root, like let's say you want to do square root of 64, you can either use the uh, square root sign, there is a square root symbol like this. Uh, actually, it's like this. They didn't put the, uh, they didn't draw it. I mean, they didn't finish, they didn't complete it. It's good you always put the, uh, this horizontal line across. Yeah, but in the calculator, they did it like this. But that's fine. Uh, the square root symbol means that 2 is in between here. Okay? So let's say you want to find the square root of 64. Right? You can do it two ways. You can go ahead and just do 64 right away, and then you do the square root symbol like this, and you press equal to. So if we do that, we do 64 square root. Okay, gives us a. Okay. So, or another thing you can do is uh, you do. Uh, and that way you can do it is you do 64, uh, then you do a uh, y root of x, and of course the uh, the y will be 2 instead, and you do equal to. And let's see whether it will give us 8. So this is 64, uh, y root of x, then you press 2, and it gives you 8. So uh, this is using your calculator to find uh, the exponents, the perfect squares, perfect cubes, the cube roots, the fourth roots, the fifth roots, and the rest of them. Okay, one more thing we need to discuss, and then we will uh, call it a night, uh, and watch out for the next video on radicals. Um, we have, we can, we have uh, positive and negative roots. Positive and negative roots roots. Now, uh, the positive roots are what we call the principal roots. Uh, if you are reading a textbook and you find a principal root, we, we mean this, it means the same thing as the positive roots. Uh, now, especially now, if, if we have a, for instance, this is what I'm uh, trying to explain. If you have something like a square root of 4, Right? Uh, this means actually plus or minus square root of 4. That is what it means. Okay? Because, which is plus or minus 2. Why? Because uh, 2 times 2 will give you 4. Then negative 2 times negative 2 will also give you 4. So, uh, the principal root is 2. Just know that. The principal square root of 4 is 2, or the positive square root of 4 is 2, okay? Principle, principle or positive square root of 4 is 2. But 
the negative square root of 4 is negative 2. Okay, negative square root of 4 is what? Negative 2. It's possible. Okay, now, what can we say about this? You know, when you have uh, an even root, uh, an even root, if you have an even root, it, it can give you uh, positive and negative uh, answers. Now, but when we have an odd root, let's look at something like cube root of A. Cube root of A. Right? Here, we can only have it to be 2. I mean, we can't have negative uh, 2 because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. But negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 will give you what? Negative 8. So, for even number roots, you can have either uh, plus or minus as your answer. Like, when you have square roots, or fourth roots, or sixth roots, eighth roots, tenth roots, twelfth roots, fourteenth roots, you have two answers, right? A positive answer and a negative answer. But the positive answer is the principal, uh, the principal of positive square root. You know, the principle of positive square root of that. But the negative answer is the other answer you can get. When you have even roots, even roots. Now, then when you have odd roots, right, you only have one answer. When you have odd roots. Uh, third root, fifth root, seventh root, uh, ninth root, eleventh root. So, that is it with roots. Uh... Please, uh, thank you for listening, and watch out for my next videos on uh, radicals. Thank you, and have a great evening. Bye.